Hi, I'd like to show you a few mistakes that uh, beginners in Excel make all the time. A few simple things that make a huge difference in your productivity and your workflow. One of those mistakes is double clicking before entering text. Like you have a cell where you can just start typing, but what people do, they double click in order to enter the edit mode in, in the cell, get the insertion point, the blinking cursor, and then start typing. Uh, that is technically not necessary. I'm going to hit escape. If you are in a cell already and you just need to type something in the cell, just type. And uh, uh, there's no need to uh, uh, there's no need to double click on it, which is a really unnecessary move. Now, another thing that uh, people do, the mistakes people make, is after they type something in the cell, what they do, they click out in order to accept the change that they just made. So, like so. So, if you click out, uh, of course, your changes are accepted, and uh, you type something else, and then you click out again. That is a habit, but it's not a good habit. Uh, because occasionally, once in a while, you're building a formula. You're not just, you know, typing text or typing numbers. And uh, if I were to build a formula, like I'm just going to do the auto sum. If you click out at this point, what you just did, you messed up your formula. You changed the reference range. So it's really a bad habit to click out in order to accept the changes that you made or the, thi the things that you type in Excel. Now, what should you do instead? Instead, well, uh, there are several options. For example, uh, if you type something and then hit Enter, uh, you accept your change and the active cell shifts down. Uh, alternatively, you can type something else and then hold Shift and press Enter. And then you accept your change and the active cell shifts up. Now, you can also type uh, something and then press the Tab key on the keyboard, and then the active cell will shift to the right. And if you type something else and use Shift Tab, then you would accept your changes and uh, shift the active cell to the left. If you would like to stay inside the cell, you can type and then hold the Control key and press Enter. So get rid of that habit of clicking out in order to accept your change, which works most of the time, but sometimes it's really annoying and kind of, you know, just uh, messes up messes up your work if you have that habit. So get rid of that habit. Uh, it is Enter, Shift Enter, or Tab, or Shift Tab, or Control Enter in order to stay inside the cell. Now, here's another thing that I see people do. Uh, for example, I'm going to create a formula and then accept the formula here. And what I see uh, people do, they click and drag by the fill handle. When I say the fill handle, I'm talking about this little tiny doodad where the uh, cursor is changing into the crosshairs right here. So people do click and drag in order to copy. Or it's a fill series command to copy. I'm going to undo. You don't have to click and drag if you are in a data set. So what you can do, you can simply double click on that uh, fill handle and uh, your uh, whatever it is, a formula or your uh, content, your text or your number, whatever you type, will actually be copied all the way down to the end of the data set. It comes really handy when you have lots of data. Let me show you. So here I have more data than in the previous example. And I have a little formula here or whatever I type. It doesn't really matter. But I want to copy it all the way down. So what people do, they just click and drag and drag and drag and drag and drag. And they try to, you know, it's a drag to drag, basically. What you can do, you can just double click on the fill handle and uh, uh, your cell is copied all the way down to the end of the data set. Now, in order for that to work, you need to have the data on the left hand side of the cell you're copying or on the right hand side. So you need to be adjacent to the data. So a little tip, you just double click on the fill handle if you have a data set. Of course, it's not going to work if you do not have a data set. Obviously, Excel will, will not know uh, what, you, what you want if you double click on the fill handle. So now you need to click and drag because there's no data on the left hand side or on the right hand side uh, of the cell you're working in. You need to be inside the data. 
Now, one last mistake I wanted to show you that people um, do quite a bit. Let's actually undo, undo, undo multiple times. OK. Uh, beginners tend to ignore the help that Excel is providing as you work. Uh, and one of those little helpers are the so-called smart tags. If you uh, copy like so, for example, I am going to copy this again. Uh, you see that I just messed up the uh, everything. Uh, well, I didn't. I copied the content, but I also copied formatting. And the formatting is uh, not what it should be. I do not have the same formatting pattern as I have on the left-hand side here. So don't forget to notice the little smart tag that pops up right here. And usually when you have a smart tag, when you click on it, it will give you some options, like what's going on there. Uh, in this case, I copied cells, right? And I can also do it fill without formatting. So I switch my action. And now I still copied content, but the formatting reverts back to the original formatting. You can even do uh, things like fill formatting only without content, which I don't need in this case. I need to fill without formatting. So just pay attention to those little tiny tags that pop up. They will dis disappear as soon as you keep working. So if I click somewhere and I start typing and hit enter, the uh, little helper is gone. So it's a really kind of time sensitive help that Excel is providing uh, to you. So those are a few little mistakes and uh, the proper ways to work in Excel, which I hope will uh, really make sense and will really boost your productivity one little step at a time.